It's October 18th, 2022. Um, I did a little bit of field observation today on my natural path. I did not go out of my way to find it. I just was in my natural, natural course, um, trying to better my health, my personal health at the moment. I don't know. Um, so I am home now in the set of rooms and circumstance for which I'm in. And I'm looking, they put up a reference of 1992, something called Sister Act. Now, my earlier videos from whatever pattern, uh, just so I have a place in order to reference what defines a state, what defines a state department, what defines a church, what defines a defense, what defines For the birds and for the groundskeep, what is a charity? How does charity work in actuality? Why is there a picture of a last supper and a last czar? Why do I have a Saint Nicholas and the last czar of Russia was considered were invent, invented for this area as also same name, Tsar Nicholas. How does the Last Supper and the Last Tsar for church purposes and for who's in debt to whom and how is charity working uh, is that have anything to do with this United Kingdom system? Is there something that I'm not even in a purview of about how they set up their whatever while they're obstructing my justice system by forcing a 76 and a 75 into this situation on top of like, I, They've chemically restrained me, even though I was not acting out of order. And there was nothing in the local municipality that would justify such chemical restraints being forced upon my person. Subsequent to that, I have no idea what they performed while I was out. There are people operating in the field completely out of my purview, without direct communication with myself, without permission, without a lot of different things, but acting in some concert with one another, for which I don't have names, I don't have groups, I don't have who's funding them. I mean, this is unacceptable behavior if health standards and safety is utmost priority. And then I'm looking at some of the things in the New York City area, which is a separate island than where I am, that's calling itself something else. Today on the Channel 2 News, Governor Kathy Hochul put up something about, it looks like State of New York has some Troop L no idea what that's about. Now, is that a Roman numeral? Or is that a letter in a capital? I mean, it says state of New York. They call that the capital. But there's something with Troop L. No idea what that is. And so I'm watching this Hollywood admission of this nun, N-U-N, with this Sister Mary Clarence, whatever that is. I mean, there's a Thomas Clarence sitting in the Supreme Court, looks a lot like a Whoopi Goldberg. I don't know how they're trying to use this at State Department, Department of Defense, and the circus. 
I really, I don't, of how they twist things and sway judgments. And then, the I mean, like, again, I was the one who entered a situation where chemicals in some form of operation, field operation, as a teenager was used. And there were local EMS and law enforcement that witnessed this, did whatever they did, and then disappeared into the background, fell off the face of the earth as far as I'm concerned. No idea who these people are. There's no, like, business card. Like, when I go to real estate and they invite me to, like, a princess event and I walk in as myself in the field, there's business cards, there's handshaking, there's... Sometimes there's no handshaking. And, I mean, like, again, it's... I don't... I've just... If they hand a card instead... There was collections of the cards. It was put into a database. What I'm unclear of, what all of that performance was for, based on the fact that I already had traumatic battery by the State Department and State Department reps have conducted themselves where I was the victim of battery by the state. I could see the state performance. And how I'm supposed, I'm, I've already proven myself saintly or saint worthy by miracles performed. Yeah, I created something out of nothing. I also did it on a special calendar system. Today is the 19th Sunday after Pentecost. We're in that IHS, just so we're all clear on a calendar that is what? Uniformity. With the Pentecost, C-O-S-T, usually that's indicative of the billing and accounting department somewhere. So this is one of these things that I don't watch their campaigns. I don't even know how to read them. But somebody is doing these performances and it says Paramount Network is what it was taped on. And the year they have assigned to it in a Jason Bourne calendar and in a Pentecost calendar system, they're one and the same for this purpose. They have labeled, not that I can verify that that's when they taped it or it came out, but it was 1992 is what they're admitting to me when they put something in motion. What it was, I don't know. However, it is essential that you understand that you are not in a sorority or a speakeasy. This is a convent, a religious order, and there are certain rules you must obey. St. Catherine's is a place to commune and to pray, and I will not tolerate any disruption whatsoever. St. Catherine's. Kataruza. Mm -hmm server with that communion. Do you understand? Yes. Good. But do you understand I'm the victim here? Do you understand I'm the good guy? I mean, they just kind of threw me in here with you nuns. I mean, do you get that? I'm the good guy. Now, is this the conversation, theoretically or otherwise, where, like, I, because there's a couple of different ways I look at this artistically and in theory and in motion and action. Um, one is I have none. My parents had none. Like none, like zip, zilch, zip, nada. Wasn't born to some like gigantic, wealthy, whatever. And then my mother brought me in. And now there's these people who are claiming to be some victim that saw some guy get shot. And I'm like, right, yeah, got that. I have none, you have none. So now that leaves us with charity. So now my problem is on charity is who and what is the State Department? Who and what is charity? How is charity given? How is charity received? If you're receiving charity, who's at the other end of that line and hook? 
And what are their expectations? Because if it's that we're all of a sudden equal, we're not. I have some other whatever, a way, being a Glenn purpose for special marriage that's been derailed by some charity, let's call it, at the moment, between charity and church and state. I have no idea who is who, what is what, but that's what it feels like. Then if I switch the characters up a bit and I look at it, it's is this the federal and the state speaking to putting a different kind of justice? I mean, like that sounds like treason to me, depending on what king we're defending. I know what king like looks like in now is that King George or is that like they don't call it, they call Czar Nicholas. If that's my last supper representative, I will avidly defend that that's my ancestor if that is such. But how do I know? There's no real faces. There's no real invention. Like there is a sign of Last Supper with no real attachments other than 12 family or disciples or apostles or whatever gathering around one Jesus who already died and had one person that the expectation was that they were together. So this leaves kind of sort of, but not really room, but I don't know how to fix it airtight. I mean, I saw a guy get his face blown off. So why don't you just give me the key to my room? I'll lay low. You stay out of my face, I'll stay out of your face, and I will commune my little black ass in that room. Can you handle that? I think it's a very good idea. Thank you. I don't know who's saying those words. That is not how the conversation would go. I don't know how the conversation would go. Depends on the rest of the circumstances. But based on where I am at the moment... I don't agree with any of this. I mean, it's an admission of guilt on somebody else's part, somewhere between state, church, I don't really know, charity, misappropriation of charitable funds, the misappropriation of assets in the field, the abuse of employees, if that's what I'm to be, but nobody's paid me. So now this becomes really like a tricky situation. I have one grandpa that worked for the big bird on this side, but didn't live long enough to explain to me what his part was and how his people were going to protect me since he fought avidly for this side. And then I have a grandpa that was in some other whatever he was that didn't speak of anything. And I don't know what happened in the whatever, whatever, whatever. But like, I would think both of my grandpas would want me to survive and have that special relationship to that person that I was to marry before 76 and a 75 got involved and obstructed like my correct groom's bride, bridegroom, whatever. And however that those two words work together. It's almost lunchtime. Perhaps you'd like to freshen up. You'll certainly want to change. This movie also um, really adds depth perspective to the who's invited to supper table, who invited this level of Hollywood production. If it's my last supper, I'm Nicole. That means you truncate my name, it's Nick. And I see. Land I was born in, stories built around. There's a Saint Nick, that's Christmas. Christ image, there's the Last Supper. They have images up there. The Christians know. It's a, it's a well-known story amongst the natives when they were accepting charity and thereafter. And then there's this Czar Nicholas elsewhere that I don't know that story. That's something that they put up recently on my YouTube to connect dots and give me a face uh, and a name of something that's not necessarily 
North American that has never been taught to me directly by another human. Just hope you don't think I'm going to wear what I wore in Catholic school. No serene, no ugly green jumpers for me and those stupid clunky shoes. Oh, with this gold thing, could you have a dry clean for me? Open the cabinet to your left. You will find suitable attire. Oh, cool. Oh, no. No, no, no. I can't do this. I'm sorry. This is fine for covering a little bowls, but now I've got holster hips. People wish to kill you. Anyone who's met you, I imagine. A disguise is necessary to protect us all. And while you are here, you will conduct yourself as a nun. Only I will know who and what you truly are. You will draw no attention to yourself whatsoever. But look at me! I'm a nun! I'm a, I'm a penguin! As from now and until you leave, you are Sister Mary Clarence. Again, I don't know what this means in the real wide world of how they've conscript or put into motion things between the insidious that hide outside of my scope of reality while locking me in some dead end life that goes nowhere and I have no way out. Mary Clarence, like, like Clarence Williams the third from the Mod Squad. Mary is in deference to our holy mother. Clarence is in honor of St. Clarence of Concordia. There are three vows every nun must accept. The vow of poverty, mm -hmm. the vow of obedience, mm -hmm. and the vow of chastity. I am out of here with that. Oh, man. And if this is the media mogul, whatever, they've unclothed their singers, their songwriters, their movies, they've put it out there on prime time. I mean, it's just, it's become a real problem at defending the actions of the problem, which shouldn't be my inherited problem at the moment, depending on what that means. I would like you to welcome a new member to our house, Sister Mary Clarence. <laughs> Mary Clarence comes to us from a somewhat progressive convent. However, she is eager to embrace a more disciplined life, and I am sure will make every effort to conform to our ways. I'll do my best. Would you like to be seated? Thank you. Conform to our ways at the table. Now that's interesting because I thought that there was a very specific painting, almost like, shall we call it a Polaroid for a time and space placement of trendy things within my life frame. It was an instantaneous photo, but somebody put it in oil in a very, very high class area that I have never even been able to view. I've seen pictures of it. I've had humans agree it's been on television that this painting exists and it usually revolves around some form of Christianity is what they say. Um, but the secular and vernacular has kept to a very, in the English pace, very pedestrian. Um, So I don't know if this is somebody's closed door meeting agreement that they're going to conform to the ways of this particular church with nuns and habits. But it looks like when they made some cult agreement at the occult in order to raise money, raise interest, and then put it out there. This also, by the way, I think has something to do with Disney. It says Paramount. I think ABC's in there somewhere in that family tree of knowledge for which I have no access to except on this television that comes with no instructions and no laws. 
it pretty much just says don't hurt yourself. I mean, like in so many words inside of an instruction manual when you get it, but there's nothing like, and this isn't even, this is something that whatever and whatever, whatever, whatever. So Yes, Mary Patrick. Reverend Mother, on behalf of all the sisters here at St. Catherine's, I'd like to offer a great big hi there and hello to Sister Mary Clarence. Hi. And as part of the welcome, I thought that maybe our new sister could offer today's blessing. Well, that is very thoughtful of you, Mary Patrick, but I really... Oh, yeah, yeah, I can do that. Uh, sure. Right. Uh... So now, in this scene, she not only starts with a prayer... There's the Pledge of Allegiance is in there. There's like several pieces of American regional information in this one prayer. Just as I guess, I don't know, are they tying things together? It's at a table. It's in some theoretical whatever. It's just when field operation starts moving around and giving away chairs in the ultimate court of some Supreme, that becomes an issue. Some White House chief correspondent, like podium controlling a conversation, it becomes a problem. Because I don't know who agreed to all this stuff. They're acting on their own and there's no involvement of some of the people who are seated at the Last Supper who have ancestry and other party requirements and other party almost masters that are being held outside. I mean, it's blind trust, it's brain trust, it's antitrust. There's like a whole lot of stuff going on and moving. And I usually there's some benefit or some protection that's given. I'm just not seeing I don't even have the physical contact and protection of the person that there was some promise of, of receiving as far as high standards and intelligence goes. Bless us, O oh Lord, for these thy gifts which we're about to receive. And yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of no food, I will fear no hunger. We want you to give us this day our daily bread and to the Republic for which it stands. And by the power invested in me, I pronounce us ready to eat. Amen. Amen. Now, I don't know what five, what hive, what jive and what live put all this together. And I don't know the repercussions of it going out there in 1992. And then in the beginning of my breeding season or where I'm able to have children, like a respectable, whatever, why was the respectable hand withheld or the transfer of me to that respectable marriage? Why was that completely denied or rerouted into some other alternative disgusting story for which I really don't feel like going into? But it does tie into other whatevers. Be seated. I haven't even seen the whole um, the whole movie. Um, I think maybe I don't even think I ever sat through the whole movie. I really I don't. I maybe, but I'm not sure. I can't. I can't answer that honestly. Based on how many times I've been hit with something and then wake up with no memory of it. No, this was the eyewitness at noon. And today is ten, Tuesday, 10 18. There also was a Popeye reference Lynn and Lou was talking about, about the hamburger. Like, I think his name was Wimpy. 
and it's I'll gladly pay you Tuesday for a hamburger today. Um, burger. This is ABC News Live Prime. Thanks so much for streaming with us. Now this is confusing. There's a succession or there's a, a sequence of paid for advertising. This one, which I think somewhere they call it fake news. This one says ABC News Live Prime. Then they call it streaming. I have no idea what this is. I grew up, it was called a broadcast. There was a TV guide. There was a specified time. You tuned in all the time at that time and you knew what to, like you didn't, there was no streaming all day, every day as references. You got it once, you missed it, done. Pay attention. I still live that way. Because this, it's available all the time brings no close it feels like it brings no closure in the doors that need to be closed when I need them to be closed which was yesterday when I was young before children arrived but here we are it's real news with Kevin is heating up the because now this is a commercial company this is something called spectrum I had something called optimum. And then all of a sudden, Optimum one day turned into Spectrum. I have no idea how. They just sent me a new bill. I called the company. I didn't want Spectrum, especially if it looks like this. But I had no choice because it just rolled over. And if I didn't pick out the mail and the change... There was no, uh, there's no alerting me, calling me saying, hey, Nicole, just so you know, optimum, something happened at corporate level with a problem with this new spectrum, whatever. And now your service has completely been compromised. You now have the choice to disconnect it or continue, but your health safety and like your security has been compromised and breached and all you and your children and your future is in jeopardy and harm's way yeah no nobody called me to tell me that because the criminals they just keep acting on some gigantic scale and i don't know how to even report what needs to be known so this way it goes like in the opposite direction and gets corrected with Spectrum One, the perfect combination of super fast internet, advanced Wi Fi, and unlimited bulk. Spectrum is offering seamless connectivity at an incredible price. It's Spectrum One with 300 megabit internet, advanced Wi Fi, and one line of unlimited mobile for just. For me, this is antitrust. This is not brain trust. This is not blind trust. This is antitrust. It's antitrust according to Last Supper last czar and my personal position inside this area who's been harmed and who has a white house with past ancestry in presidencies of importance. It's forty nine ninety nine a month. Call one eight six six nine three seven zero six four one. Check out our real news exclusive at the Spectrum One Lab. Is Spectrum Internet really fast? Mm, indeed. Just look. With speeds up to a gig and over ninety nine point nine percent network reliability. Oh, but is the Wi Fi secure? The advanced Wi Fi has enhanced security and privacy that protects your devices from online threats. So how reliable is Spectrum Mobile? It's the most reliable mm. service. Now, how do you have, going back to yesterday's admission on See the BS, when you put the casita and the, the magical whatever house on top of the Phoenix, and we're in a fro zone, I'm just curious, how do you tactfully say, I don't like your models, I don't like your children, I don't like what's going on, and I don't want to be punished or hurt for saying so. Just curious. At somebody who's so super serious all the time. Service coast to coast. Plus you get unlimited talk and text with nationwide 5G included. 
You said? Get Spectrum One with internet, advanced Wi-Fi, and unlimited mobile for just $49.99 a month. Call 1-866-937-0641 or visit the Spectrum store today. This is Kevin. And I'm Tony. Get Spectrum One now. <laughs> Tony? It's not my grandfather. Is this a Tina and Tony, like 1976, 1975 problem? Like in continuance? That's what it feels like. I'm Dan Morgan. A lot of people don't realize that our attorneys only get paid if you get paid. That means when you win big, we win big. And that's why we're in. We're all in. All law firms are not the same. There's only one Morgan and Morgan. At Catholic Health, when we see our island, we see extraordinary life. The most extraordinary of which is you. It's because our Catholic faith places the highest value on people. All people. It's the inspiration for our exceptional... Now, are they painting the Catholics properly? I'm just saying it doesn't look like... It looks like they took a different direction in model agency and in the models that they've hired for the commercial and the label they've given. I get that they have go to the church. I get that they worship just the same. They read the book. They're interested in it. They don't want to stay something else. There is Department of Internal Security that needs that to be and agreed upon in masses, I get that. It's part of our internal security that holds up the democracy and the republic. Got it. Where I'm having a problem is them painting on communications and in sports and in music and in market share. A completely anti-dollhouse inside the dollhouse. Medical care with unmatched compassion. And it's why at Catholic Health you're more than a patient. You're someone's family, best friend, and a neighbor to us all. Long live Long Island. Long lasting scent of gain flings. Gain flings. Now he's smelling himself. And it's called gain. Made it smell like Dave was in his happy place. The massage chair at the mall. But he wasn't. Dave? Right. He wasn't in the massage chair at the mall. Hello? Now, is the mall, are we talking hectares in vector and sector and satellite measuring purposes for like, because the kids at like the Hades level, when they do real estate, they, I was the last class that got that memo that hectares used to be the way it was like a side note, like the all American real estate professor and teacher. He threw that out there. I was in his class the first time. But then they went to acres, and that was like as high as like the kids could count. I'm just saying it's a different metric. Please, with Oxy Boost and Febreze. I've spent my career fighting to make life better for New Yorkers. When okay, so then her entire career has been waste on me because I am not living in a better New York. Her having that position and her having this much time to create more obstacles, more tactical blocks, and more problems for my children and myself in this area. While she is self-proclaimed as attorney general with I don't know whose integration, I don't know like who's holding her title up. I really, I don't. I see that it's on this news station, but there's like this weird, disingenuous, disintegritous connection at Department of Internal Security with them airing these things. I mean, I'm in receivership, but there's been something wrong with the currency between brain trust and blind trust. And then miracles performed in the field? Uh Uh-huh. Whether it's taking down violent gun and drug rings to keep our streets safe, protecting the rights of women, putting money back into our communities ravaged by opioids, or standing up to corrupt politicians, no one is above the law. New York is my home. New Yorkers are my family. I will never stop fighting for my family. I am Letitia James, your attorney general, the people's lawyer. On the next wheel. What people? 
the people that don't have a seat at the table, well, I don't know. Why did Hollywood then make a seat for some Whoopi Goldberg inside Disney, which has a D-I-S signature on their symbolic gestures, which really frightens me based on how the view is going from chair of um, my name matches. Uh, the people really important in bigger places than this know that they met with me. They know how badly they've hunted and hurt me. They know the really big law office outside I don't have words for. So again, like I'm, I, I'm just, I'm just looking for pieces of my own puzzle since there's something really wrong and they're not being forthright or forthcoming about communicating it properly. It doesn't feel, although they're on some path. Um, it's star one, nine, seven, eight, star eight, three, seven, eight, Nicole Caterusa. It's earth solar system. Milky way universe. Galaxy is broken. And it's Bayside Station, Bayside, New York, 11361.